the aim of this video is to communicate some privacy concerns of a family or residential property that are concerned as pedestrians uh, cross a bridge, bicycle bridge, a pedestrian pathway, and can look into their backyard, their, into their house. And this video aims to show the angles and the view and communicate the concerns of this family. This video does not address the long term because there is a long term plan of growing trees and that will take a while. There's also concerns of elevated noise road traffic due to the widening of the road. But this video does not cover that and any report on noise, uh, maybe a second video will be made. This video was created from a screen capture of a 360 degree video, which means that we could take the mouse, drag and drop and change the angle of view, or if it's viewed on a tablet or touch screen, including cell phone, we could take our finger, put it on the screen and drag our finger to change the perspective. This link would also be made available to you so you can see perspective of any angle or angle of view. We will go through step by step to make it clear what the issue is and concerns is with privacy. We just showed you the bicycle pathway, pedestrian pathway, and the protective green grid. Now we want to show you the property, and let's call that property the AB house, and the areas of that property of concern. We show the bedroom, which is closer to the pathway, and further back is the living room. The house is like an upside down, backwards L shape. We will go through the next step and describe what the problem is visually uh, by visual aids with arrows, as we will see next. As you should recall, the green grid stops at a certain distance showed by where that start of the red arrow is. Beyond that, there's no green grid, no protective uh, cover that could be put there because there's no more green grid there. So at that point, we can have a view of the living room shown by the red arrow. So beyond the structure of the pathway, where it's just plain uh, pavement, we see the living room there with the red arrow. Now the next area that could be seen from the bedroom shown by the green circle are the orange lines that has a straight view to the bridge overpass higher up on the left, upper left. And this is a view from that walking range that has a view into the bedrooms. So this is the screen capture of the 360 degree video walking along the bridge. At this point here, we're above the on-ramp to 101 from Blossom Hill. Walking eastwards. On the left are the residential areas, and on the right is the road that has been widened. And we'll jump ahead to show you lower down. We went up to the location where on the bridge we can see the bedroom view on the bridge towards the bedroom and over the neighbor's fence. And here it is. We could see the brown fence there over the fence. That's a view of the bedroom right there. And we will show the view. These orange lines that was shown before correlate to the video from the bridge looking over the neighbor's fence into the bedroom. The video continues heading eastwards on the pathway towards the end of the green grid, which is what we see here. 
And past this grid, we could see around the corner, as we will show. Look at another property. And there is no green grid here, as there is going to be an attachment for privacy, um, a panel. So there's no way a panel could be added here, but to show you that this has a clear view of the living room. I'll show the living room from the other perspective shown before. This overhead view shows the red arrow and correlates to the video location beyond the green grid that it has a, a view straight towards the living room. I'll leave this here for a few more seconds to absorb. The location of the red arrow is the location of the video that has a view straight to the living room. Here is a view from inside the property, Rep really the red arrow looking at the uh, living room. And we'll just move around for a while and um, get different perspectives. Back to the living room and on the right is the bedroom. So we'll move the camera around and we'll see the bedroom view of the bridge that we showed a while ago over the neighbor's fence and uh, in the distance. The uh, view from the bridge can look into the bedroom. Now, as the bridge is like 45 degrees, 30 degrees, it has two views and this is the view that looking back out from the living room now. So I'll wrap up this video here and just have a few final comments as we just play some extra video. The Objective of this video, as we said before, was just to show the physical views of how the family wanted to express their concerns. And it's only for the short term, because we understand there's a long-term solution of trees, etc., which will take a few years to grow up and it was a concern for the short term the views to the bedroom and to the living room and although it was not mentioned it also includes the views to the back garden so because the family does spend time in the back garden as well so this video is only to sh express the actual angle of views as shown here this is one angle and the angle for the bedroom and to give a perspective in a much clearer way. And we all thank everybody for taking the time out to watch this. And um, we understand it takes time to absorb. And um, we understand that there's constraints, that we are all operate under constraints. Thank you very much. This ends this video demonstration.